What's up, guys? Celtics lose disappointing game to the Orlando Magic, 103-95. to uh, So now we have a three-game losing streak for the Celtics. And one thing I'm reminded of is that early in the season, you could call it a disadvantage when the Celtics had a game every other day and three, three games in four days, you know? But I think in reality, with a team that especially some shaky shooters like Marcus Smart and Terry Rozier and these guys... Um, having games regularly actually helps your shot, you know, because you're always in the flow. I think I think it helped with team turnovers as well. Having games so regularly, they were always in rhythm. And of course, you can't play every other day for a whole season, right? So it's not like we wish it was still going. But some of the flaws on this team are more likely to come out during a schedule where there's two 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 days off in between games or three days or four days or five days off in between games like we've had lately, right? So Marcus Smart, Terry Rozier, they're always going to be hot and cold shooters. We see Terry Rozier, one for nine. Marcus Smart only took three shots, which is very good, but he had the four turnovers. And so, you know, Jalen Brown had four turnovers as well, just terrible, uh, but he had a good game otherwise. But Jason Tatum, two turnovers. But anyway, guys, uh, some of the shortcomings on this team, you know, and this is kind of the player, the kind of player Danny Ainge and Brad Stevens like. The Terry Rozier's, the Marcus Smart's, the guys who might not be the best natural shooters, but the guys who are always going to bring it on defense. And, you know, when they are hitting their shots, they're really, really good players. But I think having Marcus Morris in the starting lineup was a bad idea. I think that probably had something to do with this loss. Uh, the bench really needed his scoring, and it seems like every time Brad Stevens gets a chance or an excuse, he's always throwing Marcus Morris in the starting lineup, which kind of messes up the rebounding, kind of just messes up the chemistry of both the starting lineup and the backups in the bench. I know Aaron Baines was dealing with some kind of injury, but he still should have been in there. He was healthy. He was good to go. And uh, he should have been in the starting lineup, even if you pull him after two, three, four minutes. Just get that, keep that same chemistry and uh, bring Marcus Morris off the bench as the only guy who can uh, consistently uh, score. So, of course, hindsight's twenty twenty, But anyway, here we are in the dog days of the season. We've got a long way to go till the end of the year. And I think uh, some of the players on the Celtics are already looking ahead to the playoffs. Um, I won't get into that too much, but Kyrie Irving, it looked really good considering he missed the last game with a shoulder injury, 40 points for Kyrie, but we will see tomorrow how his shoulder is feeling, right? Cause the last game he played, he was fine. And then the next day he was, he was no good and the shoulder was flared up. So let's see if his shoulder flares up tomorrow and let's see if his shoulder flares up after the next game he plays. Hopefully, hopefully he's getting better. And it is indeed just a sore shoulder and not some kind of uh, chronic thing that's going to require an off-season to heal. Uh, but anyway, guys, just an ugly loss, but it's just the middle of the year and really not too much to read into it. Other than this team is out of sync, they're passing out of sync, they're shooting out of sync, especially our bench. So maybe a guy like Jordan Clarkson or something, I don't know. I don't want to overreact because... Smart and Rozier are both better overall players than Jordan Clarkson. But, uh, you know, having a Okafor off the bench or something, a post scorer would be pretty sweet too. But uh, we got to find something because this bench is not cutting it at the moment. Let me know what you guys thought. I'll see you soon. Peace.